Welcome back YouTube and molders out there. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today's video, we're actually going to go over flow marks and poor weld lines, okay? And how to fix those using the three M's. So the three M's are actually mold, material, and machine. So this is what you're going to actually go through. You're going to be wanting to make sure you're checking those things and this will give you some ideas and some things to troubleshoot those issues. So if you have, you know, flow marks or you have poor weld lines where materials flowing around a boss, then you can actually use these little steps to help you out to help fix that issue, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy the PowerPoint presentation. At the end, I will get back with you guys to go over what the next steps are, okay? Talk to you later. Welcome back YouTube and molders out there. This is Dave Lucas with injection molding skills and more. So this troubleshooting PowerPoint presentation is going to go over flow marks and uh, poor weld lines. Sorry, I got a little confused there. So poor weld or weld lines. Okay, so let's jump into this. So flow marks and weld lines look like this. So what happens is, is the material's flowing, it goes along, it hits something like a boss or where to an area where the material has to flow around. That's what causes the flow lines or the weld line. You can actually see it on the parts. It'll be like a little line or it'll be where the material flows on the other side of it and creates a, a like a flow line or a knit, okay? So flow line or flow marks and weld lines. Weld lines represent an optical as well as a mechanical defect in a molded part. Weld lines typically appear in the area where the polymer flows flows comes together during injection process. Flow marks appear due to flow turbulence during injection. Those effects are part particularly visible in colored or metallic pigment parts in the form of color changes, okay? So think about that. So here is a couple of uh, pictures I put at the very top to show you a couple different ones. So you can see how the discoloration where the part comes together, it actually shows you. So the left, the color change at the weld line, the middle picture, color change at the weld line. You can see it going across where the ribs are. And then the right one, this is a visible one. You can see it right where the, the little botch is, the, the boss. You can see where it goes around that. You can actually see it in there because of the flow front, okay? Possible causes, okay? Stock temperature too low. Uh, mold temperature non-uniform or too low, mold fill too fast or too slow, excessive mold lubricant, scratches or dirty mold surface, fill speed or packing time too low, inaccurate, inaccurate, inaccurate venting, improper gate location or design. So think about these things here, okay? So let's jump into um, the first one would be the mold. We're gonna look at the mold first, okay? So you're gonna check and you're gonna look at increased mold temperature. Check to make sure the mold's clean, clean vents and add or enlarge vents, okay? Think about that. Increase gate size or runner size. Introduce cold slug pocket. Change gate location. Okay, so on a lot of these, you can fix right off the bat. Me, clean the mold right off the bat. Make sure everything's out of the way. Put a vent where you need it to where the material can flow a little quicker going around that area so it does not cause gas trapped in that area or anything, okay? Next one would be the material side. So we're gonna look at this, we're gonna look at the material. Check for material contamination. Check material for moisture. Check for uneven material temperature. Use high melt index if possible, okay? So think about that. 
These are a couple of things you can do on the material side. Now you've already done the mold and you've already done the material and you're still having the same issues. So these are things you can do on the process to help yourself out. So increase injection rate, adjust profile faster, increase injection pressure, increase pack and hold pressure, increase pack and hold time, increase barrel temperature, increase shot size, increase screw back pressure, increase nozzle orifice size. So if you look at all these, it's increased everything. So if you think about it, you're trying to get it in there as quick as possible. You're trying to get it around those bosses because the faster you can get it around there, the turbulent flow will actually make it look a lot, a lot better going around the boss or anything like that, okay? So look at these. These are, would be on your processing side, on your machine. So you can see I got an angle up here. It's really nice. The other one's like a KM, I think, is what it is. But this is my favorite, are angle presses. I've always loved angles. So... And the last thing is, I want you guys to smash that like button. It helps the channel. Um, I appreciate all the support to the channel. Let me know down in the comment sections if you guys like this type of video. Um, I've had a lot of people say that they do. I've had some people say they don't. Um, I want your guys' feedback because this is part of the troubleshooting stuff that I'm trying to give you guys on the three M's, okay? So I appreciate all the support to the channel. Um, again, smash the like button at the end of the video. It really helps the channel. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that PowerPoint presentation. I hope you learned something from it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping these troubleshooting guides are helping you guys out out there. Um, I got some bad news again from YouTube. They won't monetize me because they say I use too many other people's uh, videos in my videos um, all I use is the shorts that's all I use is other people's shorts as far as showing you guys what compression is what extrusion is what die casting is all that goes along companies are not gonna let you go into their company and videotape any of their stuff so I don't know what the hell YouTube wants me to do but hey I'm gonna continue to give you guys feedback on stuff so I just hope you guys uh, like share and subscribe make the channel grow smash that like button because hell with YouTube they don't understand how hard it is to make video content to give to other people and stuff so they just want other people like mr. beast and that to grow their channel like ungodly <laughs> all right well I just wanted to rant for a minute there so I hope you guys understand that um, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Until tomorrow for quiz number 40, see you. Peace.